back to In The Kingdom. I have not forgotten that I promised to make a cleaning video. In fact, I have just started cleaning for Passover, so I'm sure during all of this spring cleaning, I'll get a chance to shoot some like video cleaning tips. I want to come to you really quick with a, a quick video with some important dates that are coming up. Sundown this Wednesday, which is March 16th, 2022, is the beginning of the holiday known as Purim. And um, I will put some video links down below of what that's about, but a real quick recap. It is set up at the end of Esther chapter 9 verses 18 through the rest of the chapter. So it's a, it celebrates the story of Esther and good triumphing over evil. Uh, verse 22 of chapter 9 actually sets this holiday up. Mordecai says, They were to make them days of celebrating and rejoicing, sending portions of food to each other and giving gifts to the poor. So we have planned several things to celebrate our Purim holiday and I wanted to give you an idea of what we're doing so maybe you can plan the same thing with your family. On Wednesday, we are actually um, giving to the poor. We are serving at um, a food distribution place um, to the homeless in our area. So that was already set up for this Wednesday. And uh, we thought, well, isn't that just perfect? It falls on the beginning of Purim. The way that you could do this is find maybe a few distribu distribution place in your area, or you can find some shut-ins in your area, like elderly people who don't get out and see if you can help them with something or see if you can give them some food. It's a day to like turn, to bring joy to someone who is suffering. On Thursday, I have some friends coming over. That was already set up. And so I'm gonna see if they'll do something silly with me because you know, it's Purim, so hopefully they will. Hopefully they'll play along. Um, but we're having like a study group, so that's already happening on Thursday. So our big plans are happening on Friday and Saturday. Friday, I am making hamantaschen cookies, which I'll put a video link down below of how I make those cookies. Um, I'm inviting some friends over to help me make some. And then on Saturday, we are having a huge kids carnival. So I'll put a video down below of everything else about Purim. And actually, the, there's a video down below of the plans we wanted to do last year, but we had COVID and we had just moved in. So we're actually probably doing something more like that this year. Bring your own burgers and dogs or whatever and a side dish so that, you know, that way you don't have to provide all the food, you know, if your guests are helping bring some of the food. So they're bringing their own burgers and dogs. Um, mine will be vegan, of course. And then there will be an interactive retelling story of Esther. I'm going to call people from the audience to help act it out. Um, also, costumes, it's a costume party. So Esther was in disguise, so it's kind of traditional to dress up for um, Purim. So the kids can come as either a superhero, because Esther was a superhero and Mordecai was a superhero in the story, or they can come up at, with their craziest Bible costume. And this is not your boring, like, wearing like a, a pillowcase or a sheet around you and with a shepherd's staff or something like that. Craziest Bible costume wins a prize. So some ideas are you could be the lion from Daniel and the lion's den. You could be the deer that pants after water in Psalms 42 1. A scary storm cloud on Mount Sinai. Jonah. Bathsheba. Um, that bear that that chased a bunch of kids and mauled them because they called Elisha an old bald man. Be an old bald man, <laughs> that would be funny. You could be an old bald man and be like, I'm Elisha. <laughs> I wanna show you the decor that I got, but I left it over there, so hold on just a minute. Woo! Okay, so I've been collecting stuff, especially since we didn't get to do this last year. I've got some confetti, don't know if I'll use that because then I'll have to clean it up. But there's confetti. I've got some old medals. I'm gonna spray paint for prizes for the, um, for the uh, carnival games. So there's that. This is a welcome sign my sister made for our housewarming party. Um, I thought it was cute. And it's kind of in our th carnival theme collar. So we're gonna use that for decoration. Um, this is a happy Purim sign. I think I got from Amazon. This is real pretty. I'll try to put a picture of it up in the video. Um, these are some banners, flag banners. I think I got from Party City maybe, and also a chandelier. I think it was in like a Fiesta party section. Super pretty though. I thought these would work for our current party. So that's what I have collected so far. That's what I have planned so far for Purim. And now the other big dates that are coming up next month. I told you I was cleaning for Passover. What a lot of people do starting like a month before because our houses are so large is that they'll do like a whole spring cleaning. It's like a biblical excuse to get your spring cleaning going. Um, so I've started that. 
and um, I'll post some videos down below about cleaning for Passover. Passover begins on the evening of Friday, April 15th of 2022 this year, and then Saturday the 16th and Friday the 22nd are both high Sabbaths, so those are days that you'll want to take off from work to celebrate that. And from the 15th to the 22nd is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. That's like, you like go on a bread fast for that amount of time, from the 15th to the 22nd. And um, in the Bible it says that you're not even to have leavening in your house, no bread products in your house. So it's like a good little bread fast, you know, which will be hard for me because carbs are my favorite. So that's what I love to eat. That and vegetables are my major food group. And then the Feast of First Fruits is on the 17th, and that is when Yeshua rose from the dead, being the first fruits of those who enter into the eternal kingdom. Besides cleaning the house, what I'm doing to prepare for that already is I always like to get a special um, service wear and special place settings and stuff, something decorative. We have a lot of people come over for our Passover day. Um, celebration and so I'm gathering like special recipes and stuff like that so I'm sure I'll have videos for that up for you guys too um, but for now that's all so uh, make a plan to celebrate Purim with your kids and with your family or with your friends just have a silly adult dress-up party if nothing else make it special and um, talk about the biblical meanings behind that holiday and then also have Passover on your radar it's coming up soon and it is the big like it is the Super Bowl of biblical holidays i think so that is all for this video i pray that it has blessed you and that you have a wonderful time planning for your perm and your passover and until i see you next time be love and live for the kingdom to come bye